A new media company called Channel One just announced they're going to be launching the world's first AI-powered news network. Hello, and welcome to Channel One, a new way of consuming, reporting, and thinking about the news powered by artificial intelligence. So in case you can or can't tell from that video, that anchor was entirely AI generated. In fact, most of their anchors are going to be AI. So how the news network is pitching itself is they're going to rely on content that's been generated from human made trusted news sources. And then they're going to use their AI to repackage it, to pull those stories together and to deliver it. Channel One's anchors can even be completely generated to have their own personality, appearance and voice. The network insists that they're going to be covering real news stories. It won't be fake news. And there will be humans involved in the process on the back end, verifying the accuracy of the stories. What did he just say? Check the prompter. But by and large, a big portion of the process is going to be completed by artificial intelligence. In fact, when there is an actual footage of an event, maybe in an exclusive courtroom, they're going to have their AIs create AI generated imagery or AI generated video to accompany those stories. It's the same way that a courtroom sketch is not a literal depiction of actual events but can still provide important information or nuance to a news report. Things are getting weird. And I know for a lot of you, you might be feeling some black mirror energy. And I'm gonna share my personal take on this news network in a second. But here's what we shouldn't do in this moment. Unsubscribe from the idea of AI in journalism and AI powered news anchors all together and just write it off as something dystopian that you would never engage with and therefore it's not going to work. And here's why. We know artificial intelligence is going to impact journalism. It's going to impact every industry. That's inevitable. But how the technology evolves in the industry isn't. There's too much at stake to leave the future of journalism up to people in the AI industry. One of the most important things high integrity journalists and media outlets can be doing in this moment is shaping how AI may evolve in newsrooms. Set the standards, set the rules for transparency, accuracy, and journalistic integrity in the AI age. And this doesn't mean signing off on AI powered news anchors, but it does mean However, the technology evolves, there's a plan and there's a protocol and it's used to strengthen journalism, not destroy it. We have an opportunity to do what didn't really happen with the internet and social media when it comes to journalism and that's plan, prepare and not wait to get disrupted. Do I think a largely AI powered news network from the stories to the anchors delivering them is going to stick in 2024? I don't think I'll be tuning in. But there are aspects of this concept that are interesting. For example, maybe you are a paying subscriber to The Atlantic. You really believe in their journalism and the integrity of their reporting. There is a future scenario where The Atlantic could open up their journalism to people who prefer to watch their news instead of just read it. So you as the paying subscriber can choose to read the written story or you could choose to have an AI generated video delivery of the same story. Maybe it's a digital twin of the reporter who wrote the story. Maybe The Atlantic has a fleet of different AI avatars that you can choose from. But most importantly, the AI isn't taking away from the journalism. It's just providing more options for people to access The Atlantic stories. This could get even more interesting. Maybe there's a world where we could make news even more intellectually inclusive. So you could say for finance stories, please deliver them at a two out of 10, but for geopolitics, politics 9 out of 10. So same facts, same story, but AI is used to just adjust the complexity of the delivery. Another possible future scenario, we can just stick with the Atlantic. So say there's a world where we each have our own AI powered digital assistants. As a paying subscriber to the Atlantic morning newsletter, sometimes you read it over your morning coffee, but on days when you're really rushed, maybe your AI assistant delivers a video summary of the stories while you're getting ready in the bathroom or an audio summary while you're driving on the way to work. And I'm going to get into some of the, the risks of AI in this process, but that's another option that could be interesting. And finally, AI could become another tool for independent journalists and freelance journalists. For example, a lot of us already subscribe to independent journalists on YouTube or on Substack. AI could provide an option for journalists who are really strong writers, but don't love being on camera or don't have the capacity to launch a whole production studio to still reach viewers who want to watch their news versus read it. Sorry for the misunderstanding, everybody, but I didn't take any pictures today. I don't even have a camera. And these were all interesting scenarios to experiment with. When this news trailer went viral featuring AI powered news anchors, there were a lot of comments about what could go wrong. And I'm going to share a few things. First and foremost, 
the misconception that if AI is delivering news or reporting on news, it's somehow unbiased. And this just isn't true. Artificial intelligence is largely a reflection of the data that it's trained on. That data comes from us humans, and we are incredibly biased. I mean, there's a reason why the chatbots that exist today have different political leanings because of the data that they were trained on. So it's really important that we're aware of this. What else could go wrong? The relationship between the identity of AIs on the screen and the identities of the human behind the screen can sometimes matter. For instance, say there is a news network that uses AI powered avatars on screen, but human journalists behind the screen. But say those journalists are all the exact same age, the exact same gender, from the exact same town and went to the exact same school. But when they report on stories such as perhaps being an African American in the South, they create black AI powered avatars. Or if they're doing some coverage on the Me Too movement, they create female avatars. There are potential avenues for manipulation and exploitation that could occur here. And so I think it's something for us to be aware of. And on that same note, if there are AI systems on the screen, it can blur the lines of accountability. And so I think if this is ever a path we end up walking down, there should always be a human name that's somewhere on the screen that's signed off on the accuracy of that reporting, a pathway to accountability. And finally, a concern that I have, and I know it's shared by a lot of you, the more that artificial intelligence shows up in our information ecosystems, the more confused we all might become in a sea of information, not knowing what is AI generated, what's not, what's been approved and what's not. And this is recipe for a disaster, especially in a democracy where the institution really does depend on shared stories and shared truths. I'm not concerned that a fully AI powered news network is gonna stick in 2024, but I am concerned that the tech industry continues to view journalism as an assembly line to automate versus an institution to strengthen. I mean, 2024 is one of the most important election years ever. There are over 50 elections impacting over 4 billion people, including a presidential election in the United States, in Taiwan, a general election in India. Is this the best year to go live to air with a fully automated news network? Probably not. And this doesn't mean AI shouldn't play a role at all in journalism, but we really have to move away from the innovate first, deal with the consequences second model when it comes to institutions and industries as important as journalism, which is inextricably linked to democracy.